Hello, Santastic family. I wanted to come live and talk to you guys about something that's pretty important. It's about your sponsor. And I'm just curious to know. Well, no, I'm not curious to know. I just want to discuss a few things about your sponsor and wondering if your sponsor is there for you. I don't want to see um, comments about your sponsor here. I don't want to see any of this. But this video is going to be about if and what your sponsor is supposed to do. Um, at any time, my baby might start crying. And I'm going to stop this video. I'll show you guys her while we wait for people to join in. She's too cute. Okay, so I wanted to make this video because I've had so many amazing leaders come to me and some of them crying and some of them wanting to quit and because they have team members telling them that they're not good leaders and that they never help them and that um, they expect more from their sponsor. Oh, this one. Okay, so... I um, just wanted to tell you guys, oh man, this might have not been a good timing. I waited too long after I gave her the boob. What if I would give you the soother? Okay, so I've had numerous consultants come to me and tell me like, Nick, what do I do? Um, I had a fight with a consultant or they come to me crying, calling me crying, super upset that, you know, uh, they had a huge fight and they're crying because, you know, uh, their consultants just says like, you're a shitty sponsor, you never help me, blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, hey Renee, hey Laurel, hey Vanessa, hey Julie, hey Lisa. Okay, I want to tell you guys something. My sponsor never, ever helped me. My sponsor had joint sensi a month before me, never helped me, uh, made me feel really guilty about uh, bypassing her, made me feel really um, guilty about being successful, never pumped me up, never sent me gifts, never helped me, okay? And look where I am. So this is going to be a kind of a badass message that I'm going to send you guys. It is not your sponsor's job to hold your hand and to do all this work for you. So if you keep asking the same questions over and over again, it's really difficult for a sponsor to help someone when you, you didn't even look for the answer, man. You just went and asked your sponsor for a question. Um, you know, like I had a question, what was it? It was, um, how much... How much is 200 PRV? And this is a consultant who's been around for over a year. Well, maybe go ask the group or go check your workstation. So Jocelyn Hillman, our upline, I once called her for, with a question. And she says, Nick, did you read your consultant guide? And I'm like, no. She's like, okay, I'm going to hang up the phone now because I'm not going to help you if you did not read your consultant guide. Because all your questions are in there. That is your Bible. So she hung up the phone. I read my consultant guide. And I got the answer to my question. So you can blame your non-success on your sponsor. Or you could rise above that. Am I getting too intense? Hey. You can rise above that and be the best consultant you can be. Running a sensi business is not difficult, guys. You have to keep talking to people, as many people as possible. You need to look at every single customer as a possible recruit. You need to look at every single human being as a possible recruit or someone who may host a party or do an online party or buy from you. That's it. Really, if you did that and you eat, live, breathe Sensi, so every time you talk, you just... You know, you just drop Sensi. You are a walking marketing. You are a walking business. So 
make sure that you are always like, oh, how's it going? Oh, real good. Oh my gosh, I have an order coming in. I'm so excited to get my Scentsy order and package it all up and make it all pretty. So what 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 did you do today? Like, don't push. You don't have to push Scentsy and be like, hey, do you want to buy something? You just got to talk about Scentsy. I've had, you know, and I want you guys to know that sometimes people will be like, oh, I think I wish you were my sponsor. It's like, no, man. Sometimes I'm not the greatest sponsor either because there's so much going on. I just had a baby. I can't really be there for some consultants, but they manage. And I think it's because I am independent and I expect them to be independent because we are independent Sensi consultants. You can't switch sponsors. You cannot switch sponsors. So if you don't like your sponsor, go hire. Talk to your director. Talk to me. Don't come to me and vent to me about your sponsor because that's not going to go very well because I'll be like, um, okay, so your sponsor's not really helping you. There's so many other people that could help you. There's a group our amazing group, you could post a question and get your answer right away. People can't do the work for you. Aw, thanks, Vanessa. <laughs> Vanessa's like one of my newest recruiters, and she is kicking ass. Kicking ass is a sensey thing. I'm so proud of you, Vanessa. So, you guys just know and tag your whole team on this if you want, or share this video if you want. Um, well, you can't share if you're in our Santastic family, but I'll be posting this on the Santastic community page, so then you'll be able to share it. Being a sponsor, yes, as a leader, we're, we have things that we need to do. But it's not holding your hand, and it's not making sure that you did all of this stuff. Some people, some sponsors go over and above. So because I had a sponsor who never helped me, was never there for me, never gave me props, never uh, was happy for my success, um, is, has fallen out of Sensi. I've rolled now up, and that's what sometimes happens. You roll up um, to people, and some people get really offended if you've not been in touch with them. So just know that you, as a consultant, need to know what kind of leader you want to be. Do you want to be the kind of leader that points the finger and complains? Do you want to be the kind of leader that says, I'm not successful because my sponsor is not helping me? I'm not successful because I had a bad childhood. I'm not successful because I got in a car accident and I broke my leg and now I'm at home. I'm not successful because um, I don't really have a good relationship with my boyfriend. I'm not really successful because um, I don't know how to balance my time. Those are all excuses. Those are like really horrible things. But we've been... Have you, you've watched some Sensi reunions and some really inspiring people and the people who have the shittiest stories are the people who overcome obstacles and p face fears. These people have a reason to prove other people wrong. And that's, I think, where my fire comes from. You know, I never really felt like I was really connected to this world. I never really felt like I had a gang. I never really felt like I had, I was really accepted as a human being. And then I decided that I was going to be successful. I decided. I stopped blaming everyone around me for my non-success. I stopped blaming my parents. I stopped blaming the teachers. I stopped blaming society. I stopped blaming the government because I was not successful. The only person that is going to help you and your success is you. All you. Not your sponsor. Not Sensi as a company. Not Heidi and Orville. Not this group. It's you. You need to want it. And some people are like, oh, I want it. And I'm like, no, you don't. You, you're never proactive. You never post questions on our group. You're never part of our chats. You're never part of, you never participate. You barely have any PRV. You only put your minimum every three months. You don't want this. So, but it's okay. This is the thing, guys. It's okay if you don't want this. It's not for everybody, you know? It's sad because some people think that they can't really be successful at Sensi. 
And that's some negative thoughts in your head that you need to tell your negative thoughts, you know what? Hit the road. Because you can be successful at this. You need to change your attitude. It's all about your attitude. That's some real honest comments right there, Abby. I'm not successful as I want to be because of me. I second guess everything I do. So why do we do that? Why do we second guess everything we do? Why? Because of fear. And you know what's on the other side of fear? Magic and success. Hey, Julie Omnet. That's what's on the other side of fear. So you need to keep pushing yourself. You need to keep facing your fear so that you can create success. We are never going to be successful staying in our comfort zone, blaming our sponsor who never helped us, blaming Sensi because everything sold out in 25 minutes. Do you know how many other companies wish that they had products that sold in 25 minutes? People are crack addicts for Sensi. This is an opportunity. Yes, exactly, Vanessa. You are your own creator. Do you tell yourself every day, I am, not I will be, I am successful at Sensi. You are still active. And how long have you been a Sensi consultant? If you're still active, you're super successful. You could just be more successful. At any time, you can bring your game. At any time, you can change your whole business. At any time, you can relaunch your business. At any time. Just passed out. Just drank too much milk. So I just wanted to come here and let you all know that it's all about arrows out. What are you putting out into the world? What are you telling yourself in the universe? That you're just this woman and that, you know, you just want to make $200 a month. That's not a big enough goal. That's not a big enough dream. What is your dream? Your dream needs to scare you. Okay? You need to push yourself. You deserve amazingness. You deserve success. Why are you on this planet to live a mediocre life? Hell no. You're supposed to live a fabulous, amazing life. But that's all up to you. It's totally up to you. Chris is back home. Good eye, mine. <laughs> I'm just doing a live video. That's true. Julie, you should come live in our group and tell people that you almost quit. And then my sponsor met Julie and then Julie's business boomed after she met my sponsor and then met me and then, you know, my business kaboomed and Julie's like, what is going on? You never know what will happen to your business. You'll, you never know. But Julie also invested in her business. I believe she came back from world tour or leadership or something. So she invested in her business and she was honest about her feelings and connected with her upline and saying like, I don't know about this, blah, blah, blah. And then it was this random encounter at the airport and she was going to fall out, but then this person joined under her because she was just having problems with recruiting and then this person recruited me and you know, and Julie's business has blossomed. Oh, yes. First reunion I earned, she said. So, and then everything completely changed. And I remember talking to Julie and saying, Julie, you need to go sit outside or sit anywhere and just tell the universe, okay, I'm ready for recruits. Bring them over. I'm ready. And then she said she did that for three days and got a recruit. Because we're so terrified sometimes of recruiting. We're terrified of being successful. Because then you need to own all of this. It's easier to, to blame your sponsor. It's easier to blame Sensi. It's easier to blame your life or your partner or your, your situation or whatever. It's easier to blame that. It's harder to take ownership of your life and be like, you know what? I'm in this position because of me. People are like, I hate my job. Then change your job. 
Well, I can't do that. Yeah, you can. It's your decision to work there. It's your decision to be miserable. It's up to you to either be grateful that you have a job and look at all the great things that are that your job provides you and gives you or you stop complaining, man. It's totally up to you. And Melissa thought she was going to be canceling out this month and has this huge order and put in this huge order in. Copper says, I love my sponsor. That's amazing. I love hearing when you love your sponsor. And make sure that if you love your sponsor and they're there to help you, that you let them know. Um, because sometimes it gets overwhelming when you have a big team. So you want to make sure to have all your consultants go on the group and post questions on the group. Because when your group gets huge, you don't want to be completely overwhelmed with all the questions. And we need to build boundaries. Sometimes you can't answer someone right away. Because life happens and you need to build boundaries. And if you're on your phone all the time constantly, you won't have a life. You need to build boundaries. Life, it's bigger, bigger than you. Yeah. <laughs> um, where are you going? Oh, he's going to go stay in a job in the garage. So if you get along great with your sponsor, that is fabulous. If you don't, it's not the end of the world, and it's not their fault that your business is not as successful as you want it to be, okay? Julie just said, my phone now goes off at 9 p.m. Perfect. That's what we need to do. So her phone's coming off there in a couple of minutes. We all need to do that. I used to do Wednesday nights. I'd shut off my phone. Wednesday after um, 5 p.m., I wouldn't answer my phone. And people would message me and be like, hey, Nick, you took too long. Well, you know what? Life. Life. And I, my Sensi is not my life. My life doesn't revolve around Sensi. It kind of does. But I have my life, and part of my life has Sensi in it. But we need to build boundaries, or you're going to collapse once you have a team of 20 people sending you. You don't want to be that person that messages them right away every five minutes. You kind of want them to go out there and find their own answers. Because when we find our own answers, that's when the answers stay in here. So I just wanted to come here and let you guys know that it's up to you. Your success is all up to you. The person that is in the way of your dreams is you. And you need to push your fears. And you need to do research and go find consultants that you look up to. You need to go on YouTube and learn as much as you can about Sensi. You need to use your workstation and do the search tab and ask your questions. You need to go on our files department of our group and, and, and type in your question and see what comes up on the files. You need to search our group and just ask a, a word and you'll see other people have posted the same question. You know, you need to be debrouillard. I don't know how you say that in English, but you need to debrouille, debrouille, like, like figure your shit out. FSO, figure your shit out. That's true, Julie. Never compare your success to other consultants because they may have bigger dreams than you. They may work 10 times more than you. So you're not really comparing apples and apples here. You're comparing an orange and a banana. The banana's totally comfortable just paying their hydro bill. But then all of a sudden the banana wants to be an apple. The apple who's making $1,000 a month. But the banana doesn't feel like doing the work that the apple's doing. Well, the banana's going to be very disappointed every month and keeps comparing itself to an apple. You know, some people just are apples and some people are just bananas. Bananas, bananas. So you need to decide. Don't compare yourself to someone who's working their business twice as much as you. That's it's ridiculous. You know? And don't be upset when you're not doing very well. Just work your business. You know, don't be upset. It's every action has a reaction. So if you're not successful, it's from all the lack of actions that you've done. It's that simple, guys. It's a numbers game. Do you know what I mean by a numbers game? 
Business is a numbers game. The more people you talk to, the more people will buy. The more people you ask to host, the more people will host a party. The more people you ask to join your team, the more people will join your team. People aren't just going to flock over to you. You need to go out there and you need to talk to people. You need to go and text people. You need to call people. You need to do uh, coffee dates with people and bring your samples everywhere. Make sure you have catalogs with you all the time. Samples all the time. You know what I mean? It's a numbers game. The more you put out there, the more you're going to you're going to be successful. It's like planting a garden. You don't just plant one tomato seed. You plant like a 100. And then like four grows. You know what I mean? And then I don't just I just don't I don't just throw the seeds. No, I got to dig a hole, put my seeds in, water it, and I have to baby it for a while, let it grow. Then once it starts growing, then those tomatoes start coming and we're in business. Momentum's going and those tomatoes are coming like crazy. I got so many tomatoes. Now I got to make some spaghetti sauce to use up all these tomatoes. And now we're eating tomato sandwiches every freaking day because we got all these tomatoes. And she's still sleeping. Okay? It's all about momentum, guys. You got to build momentum. Don't just create momentum, be excited, and then something happens. You get in a fight with a girl or there's drama or, you know, um, you didn't get what you wanted. And then you're like, oh, I'm going to quit. You lose momentum. It's hard to get the momentum back again. Totally. You get off track, it's hard to get back on track. But it's totally possible. It's totally possible. Julie's, my dream was to buy a house, and I made it happen. You know, that's a big dream, and she made it happen. That's amazing, Julie. Congratulations. That's fabulous. Kim says, negativity is taking so much time of your life. Focus that energy on something more productive. Yes, exactly, Kim. Being negative, it, like, envelops you. It's probably not the word I want to say. You know, but you know what I mean. It's a bubble. It's all around you, and then you just attract more negativity. Don't think you're going to get more lots of sales and lots of people join your team or host parties if you are a negative Debbie Downer. You know, like, eh, my business is not doing so well. Mur, 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 mur. It's like, yo, man, it's up to you to get up in the morning and say, you know what? I'm going to work extra hard on my Scentsy business today. You know what? I'm going to message 10 people today, right now, about hosting a party. I'm going to pretend I've been challenged to do something so I have an excuse to message a bunch of people because I've been challenged to do so. It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you. Well, that is about it, guys. I just wanted to send out that message. And I will, um, I'm super proud of everyone who is doing super amazing. We're having a fabulous November. It is not over yet. It is still time. People are still buying Christmas gifts. November is the biggest month of the year. It's also the time for crazy amounts of promotions. So I'm so excited to see what November will bring. Also, don't forget we have a November challenge. So if you just search challenge or November, um, it will pop up and then you can bump it up. So make sure you add how many ballots you have. And at the end of the month, I'll be like, okay, hey guys, make sure you count all your ballots so that we can see who wins the November challenge. And it's going to be worth winning. I have lots of goodies to win uh, for November. And also, whoever lives in the area, don't forget we have a Christmas party in my garage. We're going to have a potluck dinner and I'm going to have a penny sale table but you don't have to buy tickets I'm gonna give everybody tickets and and a bunch of people could win gifts so that's really exciting and I'm sorry for people who don't live in the area um, but we're gonna have lots of fun so def make sure that you check in our events page of our Facebook and check that uh, December 16th and make sure that you say that you're coming and what you're gonna be bringing for food alrighty I love you guys so much and remember you are totally worth it, and anything that you've ever wanted is totally at arm's reach. You just got to work for it. And anybody who's ever been successful has some crazy stories about obstacles and facing their fear. And, you know, that might be your life. You know, we all have a story, and it's up to us to make it great, okay? You are the creator of your destiny. You are the creator of your life. Love you guys. Bye.